activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Whoa! Look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo. I think it is helping build the building. Hmm. I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea! We'll go talk to the crane! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs! Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. <laughs> I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really <coughs> heavy bricks. <gasps> Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness. Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now let's finish the job! <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes left heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. This is going to be the best English feast ever. I can't wait to make all my favorite foods from London, England. Uh-oh. Are you okay, Tabs? Whoa, Tabs, you look like a knight. Hmm, I wonder, what was it like to be a knight in shining armor? Great idea, Tabs. We can go back in time to medieval London and find out. <laughs> Going back in time! Halt! Who goes there? Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Tabs. Are you a knight? Sir Buttercup, loyal knight of Her Majesty's Kennel. So cool! Can you show us what a knight does? Of course! I was just about to test the castle's defense system, which helps keep it safe. My counterpart, Sir Pudding, will be assisting. All right! Fire when ready! Whoa! Was that a tomato? Probably! The catapults are loaded with rotten fruit to fire at anyone who approaches the castle! Take cover! Look out! Oh. Who turned out the lights? <gasps> Are you okay? Yes! 
My armor is made of steel and can protect me from the most severe of boo-boos. Good job, Sir Pudding! <coughs> For this next test, we will need to be very careful. Follow me! <laughs> Slowly now, the moat is filled with terrible oh. creatures so that intruders can't get across. Oh, terrible creatures? They could attack at any moment. <laughs> you mean the little ducks? Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! Hmm, <laughs> a doggy dish. The pudding must be hungry. But how can we get inside? The castle walls are built very high to keep intruders out. I've got an idea. Follow me. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Whoa! An English feast! I can see why you were protecting the castle. Oh, Sir Pudding, what a wonderful idea! Thank you for your help. I declare you Sir Blippy and Lady Tabs! Wow! What an honor! And I got the answer to my question. What was it like to be a knight in shining armor? It was awesome! Knights protected their castle and kept everyone safe. Upload answer tabs. Farewell! Bye bye Sir Buttercup! Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm. I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool! Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course! I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything! Oh, look at her go! Debo, follow that raccoon! You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. 
Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye bye Rita! Whoops! <laughs> Excuse me! That was a big burp, Blippi! Hmm, I wonder, why do people burp? Oh, I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you! Off to the nearest mouth! All right, I'm gonna need frog legs! Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Open wide! Whee! <laughs> this is perfect! He's chewing way too fast! Look at all the air he's swallowing! Whoa! Well, that was fun! Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms! Monkey arm confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them! It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus! That's a fun word. E sof a gus! <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm! <laughs> oh yeah! These are ideal conditions for a big old burp! Boobs away! Oh no! Hang on to your seats, everybody! Whoa! So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes! Cannon! Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa! whoa, whoa. The air bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Experiment complete. <laughs> that was so fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <coughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Let's boom cha cha with boom. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Whoa! Look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What was that? Hey! It's 
It's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me! You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippy. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow, these colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks, I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You've reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Blippi! <laughs> You're at my feet! 
Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Nemo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. That one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure! Whoa! Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space! So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs, are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground, or we'll all miss the big ending! You're right! Let's go! <gasps> Here it comes! The grand finale! Whoa! Oh, look at that! What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm. I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. 
is part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo! And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello! <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing huh? I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet. Mmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. We can make orange juice. <laughs> Follow me. Okay, my third favorite thing is musica. I love music. Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa! You're welcome, Paco! And I got the answer to my question! <laughs> To celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm. I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Ah, uh, yo, welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? 
Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. OK, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. Wow, that looks great, Blippi. Yeah! Now all that's left to do is make the horn sound like a bruntusus. Bruntusus? Brown. Let's sound it out. Brun, toe, sore, us. Brontosaurus. Awesome! Stupendous! Perfection! Oh, wait. I don't think this book has a section on dinosaur sounds. Hmm, I wonder. Where can we find more books about dinosaurs? Oh, I know. Let's try the library. Great idea, Babel. What? The Brontomobile <laughs> is ready for adventure. All right. Yeah, books. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Oh. Hey. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Hi, I'm Katie the Caterpillar, here for any of your library needs. And I'm Babble. Oh my, oh my, a whole section of balloon animals? I love books so much. Hey, Katie, can you help us find the dinosaur books? Of course I can help. Wait for me. I want to come too. Ah! Whoa! Can you help me carry these, please? Dinosaurs from A to Z. The biggest roar and more. My friend, the Triceratops. Hey, Babel, do you think I have too many books about dinosaurs? You could never have too many books. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choices. Thanks for your help, Katie. And I got the answer to my question. 
Where can I find more books about dinosaurs? At the library. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer tabs. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello, I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when their front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the boss. <laughs> Whoa! That was a gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride. Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure. Crash! 
it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. <laughs> you really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, just special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Fun in the sun? Here we come! Good idea, Tabs! I should put some sunscreen on first. Oh no! I can't find it. Hmm, I wonder, why do I have to wear sunscreen? Oh no! Is it really that important? What are we gonna do? Your super sunscreen to the rescue! Whoa! Hola, amigos! That means hello, friends. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Here, Blippi, hold out your hands. Okay. Even though sunlight is good for you, we need to make sure you're protected. Perfecto, Blippi! All right. Now we can finally have some fun in the sun. Uh-oh. Hey there, Boom. Flappy, you can't go play yet. You missed the spot. Huh? How can you tell? Here, look through these special sunglasses I made. Whoa! Cool! That's the sunscreen working to protect you. The sun gives off extra strong beams of light called ultraviolet rays. Even though you can't see ultraviolet rays, too much can cause a sunburn. What's this spot? That's the spot you missed. I hold out your hand, Bleepy. All right. Oh, no. That person missed a spot, too. We must protect them with sunscreen. To the Blippi Mobile. Go, Blippi, go! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and the harness. Helicopter blades, harness confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! Save that sunbather from sunburn! All right, Tabs. Let's protect some skin. Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! More to the right, 
tabs? Now left! We did it! Growing up! Weppa! Nice job, Bleepy! Thanks for a super adventure, Senior Super Sunscreen. And I got the answer to my question. Why do I have to wear sunscreen? I have to wear sunscreen because it protects our skin from the ultraviolet light of the sun, which can cause sunburn. Upload answer tabs. Now, who's up for some fun in the sun? Yeah! Okay, Babble. I spy with my little eye something that starts with J. Plenty of sea creatures start with J. Jackfish, jelly mouse fish, even jewelfish. Not now, Tabs. I'm looking for a jayfish. Oh, it's jellyfish. <laughs> okay, Tabs. Your turn. I spy a dolphin. Listen. She's trying to communicate with us. Hmm. I wonder. How do dolphins communicate? Follow, pursue, chase. Here we come, little dolphin. Ooh. Whoa, it's so murky. It's murky and hard to see because of all the sand floating in the water. Whoa, look out. Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> hey there, Blippi! Oh, hey, Larry! This is Babel and Tabs! Sorry we bonked into you. That's all right! It's all this sand floating around. Well, I'm off to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> See you later! Bye-bye! How can the dolphin see in this murky water? Think, think, think! Oh, I know! The dolphin is using echolocation. Echo what? Echolocation. It's how some animals like dolphins and bats see objects by reflecting sound off them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need echolocation. Echolocation confirmed. Incredible. Amazing. Awesome. We should try making clicks like the dolphin. Look. The sound waves from the clicks are bouncing off the objects and coming back to us with information about how far and how big the objects are. Hey, there's the dolphin. We found her. Wait, come back. I didn't get to say hello. That's it. The dolphin is using a signature whistle to tell you her name. Try mimicking her signature whistle to call her back. All right. She understood me. Hey. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Babble. I think she wants to know your signature whistle so she can say your name in her language. Hmm. How about... Oh, what an amazing underwater adventure! And I got the answer to my question. How do dolphins communicate? Dolphins communicate with their signature whistles and chirps. And they can also use clicks to navigate and tell what's ahead. Upload answer tabs. Yes, precisely correct. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Bliffy! Let's go! <laughs> Four, three, two, one! Do you wanna have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun! Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun! Sun, fun in 
the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Summer is here, let's go and play. I wonder what fun we'll have today. Let's play catch with a ball and glove. Summer is the season that I love. We can splash in the swimming pool. Come on, Blue, you can join in too. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi! When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas, which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload, answer Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the Blippi Mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye I'm so excited to watch the rocket launch, Debo. Wow! It must be so cool to go to outer space. Hmm, I wonder, what's it like to be an astronaut? Great idea, Debo. Let's fly up to space and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Blast off! There it is, Debo. Hey there, space explorers. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Rihanna. We're wondering, what's it like to be an astronaut? That's a great question. Come on board and I'll show you. Awesome! Whoa! Welcome. Debo, you're floating. That's because gravity, the invisible force that keeps your feet on the ground, is weaker in space. So you float. Astronauts call this zero gravity. Whoa! Hey, Debo, how about a snack? Oh no, those snacks can jam up my sensors. Don't worry, Rihanna, I've got this. Um. 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 Hey, Blippi, there's one more over here. Um. Astronauts eat special food from special containers that you have to add water to, as well as fresh fruit and veggies. Over here, see? 
you have to put the water back in so you can cook the food and eat it. Wow! <gasps> oh, no! Debo! How did you get out there? He must have gotten out through the escape hatch. Blippi, I need you to go out there and fix the rocket's navigator. All right! Blippi, wait! Ooh. You need to wear a spacesuit to go on a spacewalk. Oh, yeah! Hey! Come back here, Boot! Now you're ready. The spacesuit will protect you from the cold temperatures of outer space and provide you with air so you can breathe. Whoa! Hmm. I think I need a special tool to open this hatch and fix the navigator. All right! Thank you, Blippi. You fixed the navigator. Now I can keep exploring outer space. Yeah! And I got the answer to my question. What's it like to be an astronaut? It's awesome! You get to float around in zero gravity, wear a spacesuit, and go on spacewalks. Upload answer, Debo. Don't forget about the space food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Rihanna. Bye bye. <laughs>